It was hard to know who was more crazy. Me or everyone else. Guys, what's up? My name is Edric Dale Silla. Welcome to a new Monocle Fresh Eyes review. The only review show that does the review straight out of the theater. Nothing like set up, nothing like I have to ponder over and use big words and shit. You know, what professionals would do. <clears throat> I've never watched any of the Mad Max movies. Let's start off with that. Look, I have nothing against them. I'm just not much of a Mel Gibson fan, unless he's donning a mullet and fighting crime with a black guy. But here I am going to watch the fourth installment, Mad Max Fury Road. And you know what? I can't be any more excited. It looks like a visual feast. I think the aesthetics are just gorgeous and really detailed. So that's what I'm excited for. Fury Road's got Tom Hardy, who's replacing Gibson in the role of Mad Max, Roxas Dansky, I believe that's what his name is. That is a crazy ass, and there's no way that the etymology of that of that name goes very far. Then you got Charlie South Harrow with the cool metal claw thing, that's awesome. And Nicholas Holt, who looks like he's been making out with goddamn Baraka for like three fucking weeks. Dude, EOS, baby, EOS. And we have George Miller back at the helm, who was the director for the previous three Mad Max films starting in 1979. Oh, and guess what else he's done? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Happy Feet and its sequel. Yeah, that took a turn faster than the Pac-Man game, didn't it? The more you know. So for all of you who didn't know, George Miller has been trying to get this script out for 25 years. This movie's been development hell for over two decades. Some of it was financial, but most of it was political problems uh, during the time back in the 2000s when the Iraq war started and having to shoot in certain places was just a fucking nightmare. And so it was just stuck. And of course, most of those years we're trying to grab penguins to do what you want in front of a green screen, so. Hi, is this valet only? I'm just here for the, the, the screening for Mad Max. Okay. That's ten dollars. Ten dollars. I am parked. I am pumped. I am ten dollars short, but I'm ready for fucking Mad Max for your row. Let's fucking do this. Excuse me. Is this in line for really? Mad Max? Uh, no. What is this for over here? Uh, half the shoot. Rush right now. I was hoping to be there like an hour early. Ah, here we go. Finally, fucking made it. Found it. Holy shit. Is the end of the line right here? You're here for Mad Max, right? Mm -hmm. Go. Cool. Just gonna sit down. I really can't feel like I can breathe after watching that flick. It's it's unrelenting, man. It's crazy. And probably some of the best action sequences in cinema history I've ever seen. This is action on a whole new level. It's a whole new level. For sheer technical prowess, amazing detail, and the fact that it was able to keep me on the edge of my seat for two straight hours. Mad Max Fury Road deserves a, a good solid four. The movie starts at 200 miles per hour and zooms the entire way through. Literally every action piece that occurs is like the finale of every single movie you've ever seen. The aesthetics are insanely well thought out, uh, down from you know set design to wardrobe to to the vehicles. I can go on and on and on about the visual detail of this film, really. I can tell just from the cinematography and the and the execution in terms of uh, scene to scene that they really thought it out. He needs to drop in this certain place. She needs to come in at this moment. It's an orchestral thing. A lot of action scenes nowadays are sort of like, let's shoot it, let's see what happens, and then we'll put it together in post. Just hoping sort of for the best. Uh, I think this had a mind of its own in terms of action. There is some inventive shit happening, especially with the cars. The war machines in this movie are, are basically like the pirate ships of today. Everyone has their baby, everyone has their car that they've worked on or they love so much. They give each other orders in the car as if it's like, you know, raise the mast or, you know, put put the anchor down. But, but this time it's like, you know, oh, spit gasoline into the, into the engine to make it go faster. Or engine two's failing, go check that out. These cars are their own character as well. 
And that's what made it fun. It makes you feel like you're a part of something that the, the characters themselves just created with that car. And one of the most inventive things I saw is this like sort of teeter-tottering device to get on top of the cars. But the, the, the mechanic of having to like do, do that makes for some interesting uh, fight scenes. Very fun and thrilling moments. Sound design was actually really well done as well, and I can tell because I can still fucking hear the ringing in my ears. And the score, done by Junkie XL, it's just pounding you like the Dark Knight, really mixed in with mixed in with some guitars. I'm just so enthralled by the world that's being occupied in this film because of the fact that you get to see so much of their culture within their clothes and their and how they fight and how they they speak. In this dystopian desert land, Mad Max gets captured by this um, society run by Immortant Joe, who's just like just dictator basically, and he he has the source of water for for everyone, and so he uses that as a way to control thousands and thousands of people and use that power to fuel his own needs. And uh, Furiosa, played by Charlie Theron, uh, steals Immortant Joe's wives of the future. He he tries he's trying to impregnate these these five young women, and she steals them because he's treating them like objects and treating them like shit. I mean, he fucking makes them wear these crazy ass, like, chastity belts with teeth and shit. I'm like, holy fuck. She steals them, Max gets entangled with having to help her reach a, a different place, a sort of safe haven that she knows of, and then Immortan Joe is furiously after them. Oh, and if anybody's thinking about taking drugs before going to see this movie, seriously, fuck that. Because you're gonna you're gonna end up paranoid. It's just trust me, there's enough craziness in this film to really get you going no matter what your fucking mood is. I'm just gonna go really quickly with what sort of like fell fell through with me. Not surprisingly, you know, the lack of dialogue was a little bit disappointing. We don't really get much character development for as many characters as there were, and there are just a shit ton of fucking insane characters. As much as I love the action, the movie starts out a little bit too fast, way too quickly. Before even the titles play, we see Max go through some shit. And then within the next 20 minutes, the very first action set piece plays like it should have been the final set piece. It's, it's, it's insane. I wasn't really learning anything about any of the characters yet. You really sort of lack the connections with the characters. Knowing that there was so much going on, but I didn't really care about anybody yet because I didn't know who they were. Another thing I thought this movie could have used was a little bit of more humor because a lot of time it's very bleak and intense and it just would really be nice to give some balance with the uh, intensity which is always up here and low times are like over here but all you know humor would have been nice to sort of balance that shit out sound design visuals detail action every single element of filmmaking besides narrative is working at full force to give you action scenes that you've never experienced before Anyways, guys, that is my Fresh Eyes review for Mad Max Fury Road. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I do. Finger it up if you like it, and then finger it up if you don't like it, too. Because in a lot of ways, negativity leads to positivity anyways. Isn't that crazy? So just thumbs up that. I am so excited for this summer slate, and I can't wait to bring you guys more reviews for this summer. And I will see you guys at the next review. Bye.